Welcome to Cafe24. Cafe24 is an online shopping mall solution and has been maintaining its top position in the industry for more than 20 years. This video will guide you through creating categories for your products. Categories indicate main and subcategories such as top, pants, dresses, accessories, and etc. First, click on the Products button on your main page. There are two ways to be redirected to the product category settings. First, clicking on the feature part of the central part of the main page, or clicking on Manage Products under Products and going to Product Categories. The Product Categories page has the Category tree on the left and the Settings section on the right to manage and edit all the basic information and details of each category. Cafe24's product categories are divided into four categories, which are Main Category, Subcategory 1, Subcategory 2, and Subcategory 3. On the left, you can see the main categories. Click on the plus button to create the first subcategories. Click on plus again and create second subcategories. And then another click on the plus button will lead to the third subcategories. To add a main category, click on Add Main Category on the top left corner. The first subcategories can be created with clicking on the plus button on the right side of the main category that's been created. Deeper subcategories can be created the same way. Each category can be moved through drag and drop. Drag and drop to the location as you prefer, then click on Save once you're done. Make sure to click on the Save button on the Category tree every time there have been changes that were made. Each category can also be moved upwards or downwards. For example, a subcategory can become a main category. Once again, make sure to click on Save after moving to successfully save all the changes. On the right are the settings that can be applied to each category. There is Basic Information, product category image, permissions, and search engine optimization. On basic information, you can set values of the actual category. You can view the category URL and edit the name of a category below. There are also display on and display on homepage. Display on is where you can choose whether or not to expose that specific category and display on home page is where you can choose whether or not to expose that category on the main page of your store. PC mobile setting is where you can choose whether to expose your store only on PC or mobile. Usually, merchants utilize both, so click on both unless you wish to only operate on one version only. The layout by category is where you can set how to display your products in each category. You can choose from automatic sorting, custom sorting, or automatic custom sorting. Display products in subcategory settings is a function that displays all the products inside subcategory 1 and 2 under the main category. As you can see, it is currently set as yes. If no, the subcategories will not be displayed, but only the ones inside the main category. Changing these settings every time you add a category feels too inconvenient. There is a way to manage this entirely. Let's go to Store Settings, which is the last menu on our GMB. Click on Products. On Product Policies, go to Settings. This is where you can manage your product layouts. By clicking Yes on the Display Products and Subcategories section, you can display all your categories on display. Product Category Image Settings indicates the images of categories displayed on the main page. They're only displayed in texts, but if you prefer images, you can click on the Upload Image to upload your preferred images for those categories. Header Image is a main image of the category when a user enters a specific category. Upload the image and make sure to click on the Save button. After saving, click on the Monitor button at the very top to check what your store currently looks like. Click on the category you just added an image to, then you can see that a main header image has been added to that very specific category. How are we doing so far? Tag along to finish adding your product. 